Hi, this is Giles. So, there's a project in my GitHub called RB Core MIDI, and I just created a branch last night called Akai APC20, and it allows me to access the uh, Akai APC20 in Ruby. Um, and it is pretty straightforward, and if you have one of these devices, I encourage you to check it out. And I'll show you what it does real simple here. So, Ruby, well, Ruby APC 20.rb. Right, hit return. And it says source zero Akai APC 20, and that just means that it's found this device. And you should basically get that just by plugging in the APC 20. You shouldn't have to configure anything. Okay, so then if you move this, you get the MIDI packets. Right? Uh, likewise with this, and this, and these. Now, if you look at the master branch of RB Core MIDI on uh, my, you know, my GitHub, because the 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 branch has actually changed. I'm sorry, the project has actually changed since then. Um, so I don't know if this pertains to all versions. But if you look at the master branch, uh, there is a example.rb, uh, which if you do this gives you note numbers, control change numbers, velocity, stuff like that. These are truncated, right? These do not contain any uh, note numbers, control changes. Basically, I took out the code, which allows you to say what these messages mean in terms of the MIDI spec. And the reason I did that is because some of them give really, really weird responses. Like, anything in this transport control layer here, instead, you notice that this just gives me one packet, right? These are on and off notes for these particular things. But anything in this layer here will give you four packets. And the last one, instead of having three uh, pieces of data, it has like 12. Um, and there's some notes in the comments uh, in apc20.rb uh, or possibly in midiin.rb. There's some comments in the branch uh, which explain how you can use this. Uh, but the basics are really simple. I'm going to clear the screen, right? Which, <laughs> given the font size, doesn't do much. You you run Ruby APC 20.rb, right? And then each of these things, these pairs are unique. 176.7 always means this guy here. Now, if you were doing actual MIDI, you would want to know that this is on MIDI channel 1, whereas this is on MIDI channel 2. However, you really don't need to care. All you need to know in order to control this from Ruby is that this is represented by 176.7 and the third uh, element in the array represents the value being sent. This is 177.7 and again the third value in the array represents the value being sent. These guys are you know, 135, uh, 48 and 49 and 50. 134, 48, 49, 50, 133, 48, 49, 50, right? So you have access to controlling these things, right? So you can turn these pretty buttons, uh, you can turn the lights on and off. Now, I haven't implemented this yet, but there's also stuff in the comments that allows you to turn these lights on. Because this is not just a MIDI, you know, uh, controller, it is also a MIDI client. So you could, for example, if you wanted to, with Archaeopteryx, write code which simply illuminated all these LEDs in various entertaining patterns. Uh, although, of course, the, the real usefulness is that you can send, as events in the music change, you can send control messages back to light up each of these LEDs. Now, I don't know what the story is with these LEDs, um, but the stuff that's documented in the comments is that these guys... Let me see if I can actually find it. Yeah, right down here. Oh, and it is apc20.rb that has this documentation. You can see there's tons and tons of uh, info here, which I won't bother magnifying. But in order to access these guys, all you need to do is you send a particular note number and then one of seven velocities. Velocity 1 turns it to green. Velocity 2 turns it to green flashing. Velocity 3 will turn it red. Velocity 4 will make red flashing. And 5 and 6 are orange and orange flashing. And then 7 through 127 are all green. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, I haven't figured out how that works yet, but it's documented by someone who's done it. I copied and pasted, and, you know, it's easy enough to start with. So there you go.